Hi beauties, welcome back. Today we have our April Ipsy versus Ipsy where I take my mother's Ipsy and my Ipsy, this is our standard bag and I compare the two. I pick out my favorite as a total and then I pick out my five favorite products. So I said it in my BoxyCharm video, which we just filmed, but I think this might post first. So just as a disclaimer, yes, this is April as I know we're midway through May. Um, unfortunately, now that mom and I no longer live together and we live about 30 minutes away, it makes it much harder to go pick up her stuff and film it. What winds up happening is mine comes and then I wait for all three of hers, her BoxyCharm, both her Ipsies to show up and then I go pick them up or she drops them off. We film them and then I drop them back off. So it's just, they're gonna start posting later, unfortunately, probably around this time, like the month after. I hate that. I wanted to, I wanted to be able to keep it like as close to like when we got them as possible, but it's just, it's not happening that way. So it is what it is, I apologize, but no, we're, we're gonna try our best to keep them coming as quickly as possible. Also, I chopped off half my hair cause it was all dead end. So yesterday I got out of the shower and I was like, Nikki cut my hair and he was like, Ah, but I did it and I'm so much happier. It's not professional, obviously. I used my couponing scissors, so. But it's fine, It's it, at least my dead ends are gone, so yes. Anyway, anyway, that was just a tangent. There was no need for that, but I wanted to share, so here we are. Okay, so mom's Ipsy, my Ipsy, because it's been so long since we've done anything, chosen products, whatever, I don't remember a damn thing about what this month entailed. I don't remember the theme. I don't remember any of the products. I don't know, we'll see. I always start with moms. So we're gonna start with moms this time cause it's tradition at this point. And I think this was the only one of her subscription boxes she didn't open beforehand um, to like check all of her stuff. But, uh, oh, back is so cute. Uh, I, I, they look like little pieces of coral or something. I don't know, like little like, like ocean, sea, ocean sea weed type things, I don't know. Really cute though. These look like lips, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, love it. It's like canvasy, super cute, adorbs. Love it, big fan. Yeah, so the theme is force of nature, which I'm assuming, yes, this is some sort of like sea life. I don't know, we're going with yes. Um, so upon initial inspection, all of her products seem a little like tiny, tiny this, this month. Not a bad thing, cause we are getting samples, so it's kind of what you should expect. But just a lot of times they'll throw like one or two bigger products in there and they all seem like they're kind of like miniatures. So the first thing we have is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinol Serum. I guess this is for all over the face, not just for your eyes. Yeah, I think this is for all over your face. Definitely a tiny sample, but Sunday Riley comes with a hefty price tag. And I do like these kind of things, one for traveling and two also for testing out the product. If you decide like, oh, I really like it, it might be worth shelling out the money to buy the full size. So, um, and I'm, I am a big fan of Sunday Riley. I really haven't used many products that I'm not a fan of. So, um, so yeah, nice little sample there, definitely tiny, but once again, you know, take take the good with the bad. Next, we have a little sample from Feel. This is a 4D hyaluronic acid under eye cream. So this is an eye cream. So we're getting an eye cream and a face cream. I'm a big fan of skincare at the moment. So I think that's great. Um, once again, very small sample, but I've actually started using a, um, I think it's a, like a face scrub from Feel that I got in an Ipsy a few months ago and I'm a big fan of it. It's um, like a sugar scrub, so it's not really harsh on the skin, but it definitely does go in there and kind of like work out some of the stuff in your pores. So uh, I think this would be a good product to try as well. I know both the face cream and the eye cream my mom will get use out of, so that's another nice thing as well. Uh, the next thing we have is from Hey Honey and it is a boosted up honey rich moisturizer. So literally they just said skincare and then I threw it. This is definitely a skincare heavy bag. I'm not gonna complain because I'm using a ton of skincare right now, but I do think it's kind of a waste to send a moisturizer and a face cream. They're like, not the, they're not the same, but they're similar. And the bags are supposed to be a variety. So I, uh, it's not my favorite bag if I'm gonna be honest, just looking at it, but whatever. Uh, the next thing we have is a milk makeup mascara. It's the Kush mascara, pretty decent little sample size there. I wanna see what the spoolie looks like. Kind of a standard, just like big fat spoolie. I like Milk as a brand, but I've not used any of their mascaras, so I don't really know how it would be. Um, and it has been a while since we've seen mascaras, so I'm not gonna complain too much about it. You guys know that I, for a while, we were getting mascaras and eyeliners all the time, and I was pretty harsh about that because I thought it was ridiculous. But um, we haven't seen them in a while, so it's not the worst, but I just, I don't know. I feel like this month is kind of like a phone-in, if I'm being honest, at least what I'm seeing from mom's bag so far. 
Um, the last thing we have though is from Nomad Beauty. This is a Toscana eyeshadow. The shade is Toscana. Oh, pretty. Small, the Nomad samples always are small, but that's a really pretty shade. Very much like a nice like kind of pinky peach glitter pigment. Um, I definitely think my mom will get use out of the stuff in her bag. I just don't know that it's my favorite bag that we've seen. All right, let's move on and let's check out my bag. Cute, cute, cute. I, I'm a big fan of this and I really like the material. Definitely feels durable, big fan. Like that a lot. All right, so my products already feel like thicker, like they're bigger. Already like my bag much more than I like my mom's, if I'm being honest. So the, I do remember, I always remember when I see the product, I chose, this is the customized item that I chose. This is the Tatcha water cream. I'm a big fan of Tatcha products. I don't have a ton of them. So when they give me the option, oh, it smells so good. When they give me the option to choose one, I'm, I normally am going to. Um, and you get a pretty good amount of stuff in here with this one. I'm, I wonder if it says, looks like it's half a fluid ounce maybe. I don't know, they like stamped over it so I can't see. No, sorry, it's a third. It's a third of a fluid ounce. Um, so decent size, definitely enough to get several good uses out of it. Definitely enough that you could bring it traveling and probably make it through an entire like week long vacation. So really like that, glad I chose it. They gave me the 4D Hyaluronic Acid Under Eye Cream as well. Like I said, I've been using that Feel Scrub recently, so I'm excited to try this. Um, and I'm always looking for eye creams, like eye creams is, I turned 27 in April and I was like, okay, I'm like really close to 30. So I need to be more diligent about moisturizing and eye creams and things like that. So I am excited to test that one out as well. Next thing I have is a little wild hemp infused eyeshadow palette from Pacifica. I really like Pacifica. We've gotten several little eyeshadow palettes from them. And I actually just used one that I got maybe like two years ago in Ipsy. Uh, the other day and I was a big fan of it. I was like, I forgot how much I like this. Oh, I broke the box. That's fine, I'm gonna throw the box away anyway, so. So those are the colors that we're looking at. We've got five nice little shades. It's a full eyeshadow palette. It's definitely a mini, but it is like, you guys, do you get what I'm saying when I say like my mom's samples seemed like small samples and mine definitely are more like what I've kind of come to expect from Ipsy? Sounds weird, but like, cause it is samples. Like we know we're getting samples, but hers were just like really small. Probably cause they're skincare and skincare is a lot pricier. So they give you a little bit smaller samples, but whatever, whatever. Next thing we have is a salt body scrub with gray sea salt and bamboo charcoal. I've heard, I used to really be like, oh, I love charcoal products. And then I started like, I got on like skincare TikTok and they're like, charcoal is bad for you. And I'm like, eh. so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I it's a good size. I want to try it, but also I feel like somebody in, on TikTok is gonna yell at me for using it. So, what are you gonna do? All right, my final product we have here is from also from Nomad Cosmetics. This is one of their highlighters. It is the I'm trying to figure it. Kiss of Sun highlighter is what it looks like. Yes, and. Definitely a better size, obviously, because it's not an eyeshadow, it's a highlighter. Really pretty pigment, very summery, very light. Um, yeah, okay. Definitely like my bag better. I really, yeah, I don't think that there's even really a question about it. I like my bag better. Um, if I had to choose my top five products though, I would go with the Pacifica eyeshadow um, palette because you guys know I'm like really into hemp stuff right now. So I think this will be a good product to try and I like the colors in it as well. I'm gonna go with my Nomad highlighter. I'm gonna go with my Tatcha cream. I'm actually gonna go with my mom's Hey Honey moisturizer because it's a decent size and I like Hey Honey. So that's, well, that's one for hers. And um, so I wanted, to, I want to say this that we both got in our bag, the eye cream, because of, but I can see, like I can see this is so light here. I feel like there's not a lot of product in it. Like I feel like half of this is full. And because of that, I actually, as shocking as it sounds, I'm actually gonna go with her milk mascara, which I normally would never choose compared to like all that. But I feel like that's like the best size if that makes sense. Uh, I feel like everything else from her bag was just really small and I don't, like I said, I feel like I'm gonna get yelled at for this, so. Okay, that's how I feel about it. How did you guys feel about April? I don't remember, I don't think I looked at my bag for May to see what was in it or, I, and I don't remember what I chose. I, I remember the Glam Bag X for my large one I'm a big fan of. I liked everything that came with that. So uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are thinking about April, what you're thinking about May, if you've already gotten your May bag or you've seen it. It seems to me like it was kind of a hit or a miss. Like I feel like my bag was a hit. I feel like my mom's bag was a miss. And I kind of felt the same way about my boxy charm. So mom's not coming out so great for the month of April, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe, because we'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And other than that, 
I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.